Sabrina, would you marry me? Yeah. Oh. Rich and fine. Fine as a glass of wine. When my family from Brooklyn meets her family from Martha's Vineyard, it's kind of like a clash of the titans. You've certainly raised a wonderful. Hmm. Well, I wish I could say the same about you and your daughter. Oh, I mean, I wish I had met her earlier. My son, Jason Taylor, has fallen in love with a young girl named Sabrina. And unfortunately, I have not had a chance to meet her. You know by now, she should have come over here to meet me. Don't play this. Strike one. Don't forget about your anger management classes, Pam. I'm going to lunch. What? Jason's mom is a very possessive, overbearing mom. Oh. My baby! I can call you pediatrician. This grown man don't need no pediatrician. Well, yeah, I ain't nobody asking you nothing. And the idea of her son getting married, especially to a woman that she's never met, really, really scares her, and she's not happy about that at all. I don't want Jason mixed up in this mess. Okay. No, I'll break this wedding up if I have to. This family from Brooklyn is nice. What you looking at? It's August in the vineyard. I'm looking for Barack and Michelle. Oh, God. And you have this family from the vineyard, and you bring them together and try to have a wedding. Oh, it's going down. I invited the two of them to stay here. I hope that's okay. Oh, yes, yes. And then I come to find out that she is a part of a very wealthy, very uppity family who I feel they think they're better than me. I made Jason a sweet potato pie. It's his favorite. Jason's mother is um, not the easiest, and she has certain ideas of what should happen on their wedding day, which includes them jumping the broom. This is the broom that Mike and I jumped when we got married. But Jason and I want to start our own traditions. It's just so ghetto. I was going to say simple. You need to get off your high horse, because, baby, you black. No, they're not trying to voulez vous coucher avec moi. Us. She said she's going to hit you in the head with a computer. I heard that. I'm a hermaphrodite. <laughs> I don't care what your religion is. We have many colorful characters throughout the film that, that bring so much life to it and really make it an amazing ensemble piece. That line about stamps may work as a natural aphrodisiac. To me, however, it's just country. Ain't nothing wrong with a little biscuit and gravy. We wanted people to be able to say, I know Willie Earl. Oh my, I know Pam. Jumping the broom, what is the tradition? Look here, tell me. Kunta Kente is sitting at the table, and uh, you know, this ain't a black history moment. It has been incredible to be part of this cast. Angela Bassett is just a phenomenal actress. Loretta Devine is so funny. D Ray, Megan Good, Pooch Hall, Stokes, Romeo, who's doing an amazing job. It's really gonna be something special, and everybody's playing a part, and that's what makes this movie so special because we are family on screen, but we're also family off screen. Dear Lord, they think that they are responsible for everything they have. Because we know the truth. Hallelujah! Well, if that was a blessing, you going to hell. If it wasn't for my mother, I wouldn't be the man you want to marry. If it wasn't for your mother, I wouldn't be questioning if you're the man I want to marry. I think that people should see this film because it's about love. Success. Being yourself. Differences. Coming together. Conflict. Madness. It's about jumping the broom, baby. <laughs> It's burning, it's burning. Oh! Oh my God! <gasps> I know you ain't got your private parts out around all this good food, do you? Jumping the broom. Fix your wig on your head.